Stevenson defeats Kane 15-9 in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Glenn Clark with head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, there's so many places we could start at this one. If I could, I'd like to start with your goalie just because he's been so good all season. He sets a new career high today with 18 saves, and it really seemed like you needed him to be as good as he was in the first half to get you guys going. Well, you know, one thing we know is that we can always count on Mark. You know, he's going to play well, and he's done that all year, and he played great today, bailed us out when we were in that first half really scrambling and still kind of feeling sorry for ourselves from a week ago, I think. So um, once we got it going, but, you know, he's a leader, and he wants to be in there, and he wants to be in this situation. And, you know, it's nice that for the first time that we get a goalie with 18 saves and we win a game. Usually we're playing against goalies with 18 saves and making it tough, so it's good for him. But I think he's one of the best goalies in the country, and we're glad he's on our team. But I'm really proud of him. He stepped up and did everything he needed to do to lead us, and uh, and uh, we got it done. Was there was there any sort of like a hangover effect from last week early on? Was that absolutely? I think that whole first half was a thing. Guys feeling sorry for themselves, kind of blaming each other. So once we got in the locker room, able to talk it out, I think they really understood they needed each other again. And I think in the second half, you saw more of what we're really about, and hopefully we'll be able to do more of that tomorrow. You know, coach, in a weird way, we've talked this season about the starting and stopping. I, I would think on paper, having to turn around and play a game. Against against one of the best teams in the country that didn't have to play today, tomorrow would be a disadvantage. But is there a weird way in which maybe you play a half like this, some of your best lacrosse all season, that it does benefit you to just get back on a field tomorrow and keep playing? Well, I think it was great that we got kind of some things out of us today. You know what I mean? Hopefully we'll be much better. Cruz CNU is an excellent team. They've had an excellent year. They beat some really good teams. And, you know, we're going to be ready. But it's good to get out of us and playing, you know. I'll let you know about that about, you know, <laughs> one, 3 o'clock tomorrow, whether it was good or not. But yeah. it, it's, you know, six one way, half, uh, uh, half dozen the other. You know, we'll, we got to get out there. we got to rest up. You know, it's just like maybe UCLA. You know what I mean? UCLA played in the, the playing game, then won the next game, then won the next game. They kept playing day in, day out. And that can do something. I think getting into this rhythm here a little bit helps us at the end and getting into things but you know it's going to be a big challenge tomorrow facing a very good team that didn't have to play uh jake harrington dyed his hair blonde and scored six goals do you tell everybody they got to go dye their hair blonde tonight well, you know we, we were searching for somebody to help us you know you know everybody was struggling a little bit and we needed somebody to go to i think putting jake in at attack a little bit letting him dodge against some good matchups and hitting some shots i think really helped you know and he got us going a little bit and uh he's another senior that doesn't want it to end and you know you know we had two seniors mark and him really carry us today Coach, it was a remarkable half, a really remarkable half of lacrosse. Congratulations on a big win. We'll see you back here tomorrow afternoon. Let's do it again. <laughs> Coach Paul Cantabene, go MustangSports.tv.